Hi, my name's Gordon White, and in this screencast we're going to show you how to take the bird out of this image and place it into this image. To do this, we're going to use the Magic Extractor tool within Photoshop Elements. And to find this, we go to Image, and then down to Magic Extractor. Now we're in the Magic Extractor window. There's a few steps up here which make it pretty, pretty um, self-explanatory. The main keys for us to use here are the plus and the minus. The plus basically keeps the information and the minus deletes the information. So on an image like this, what I would tend to do first, because I will be zooming in, is I would get rid of a lot of this information down here. So to do this, simply select the minus, and then in this particular instance, I would slide it right across. And then just remove the information underneath the bird that we're not going to need. Now you don't need to be always as accurate as this and to, to delete the whole lot just by clicking and taking spots out. But with this having quite a bit of detail, I thought it would be as well to just cover it all up with the, uh, the minus tool. So now we want to zoom into here and select an area that uh, we want to keep. So we use the zoom tool, just literally click over it. Now there's still an area there that I can get rid of, so while we're there in the minus we may as well just reduce this size down and just select an area around this bird. If you over if you go over onto the bird you can edit it later and get and remove those selections. But now we'll select the bird. Slightly too big brush there so we'll, we'll go down. It's worth spending a little bit of time to try and get as accurate as you can on this. Saves a little bit of time later on re-editing, going backwards and forwards. We can reduce the, the brush while we're working to get in some tighter areas. We can even go right down to, to one pixel to get right into these areas here. Just little dots will do, just to pick it off. Sometimes with um, like this it might be worth just making a little dot in each tip there. Once we're happy with our selections we can select the preview there you can see that we've just got the bird there taken out and everything else is transparent. So if we're happy with this, we can select OK. There we have the transparent image there. And we can just drag that straight over onto the other image. Move it around. Resize it. Once we're happy, just select the commit button. And there you have it. We've taken an image out of one and place it into another. This is another screencast from elementsbox.com.